Uh, on Conestoga's base cabinets, what you're going to find is there's not a full top. Uh, this is pretty traditional with any base cabinet, not just Conestoga. They don't waste the, the material on a full uh, counter or a full uh, cabinet top. Instead, they use what they call I-beam construction. Some cabinet manufacturers use a corner block. In Conestoga's case, a typical base cabinet is going to have this left and right cleat running across the front and back of the cabinet. The front one's actually dovetailed into the front frame. On sink base cabinets, the cleat runs this way with a little U-shape cut out to allow your sink bowl to go in. The point of this video is to talk through what these things really do and why they're not necessarily that important. We have customers who will call us and say these either came damaged or one came without a spline or they came mismachined and they can't get them dovetailed in. And they're holding up their entire cabinet assembly and the countertop templating and the rest of their subcontractors over these strips. What I want to stress is these strips are, were traditionally only there to allow a laminate countertop to be screwed down by, by screws going up through here and pulling the countertop down to the cabinet top. In today's world of granite, we're putting beads of, of adhesive or silicone here and dropping the countertop on top. You don't even really need these. Now, if you're really worked up about it, hey, they didn't come and I want them in the cabinet, we can send you new ones, but you can also just scrap the ones that you got and use your own plywood. Don't dovetail it in, just screw it through the side. Or what we have a lot of folks do is just make out of three-quarter plywood or solid wood, make some corner blocks and mount those in there. Punch a screw there, punch a screw there. You can come in through the back. If it's not a finished side, you can come in through the side. All that block is doing is acting as uh, something for your laminate countertop. In sink base applications, traditionally, we just knock these right out of the cabinet. They're not holding the cabinet square or stable. When you put your countertop on top of this, that's what's holding this whole thing together as one run. This is not going to do you too much good. So I would not worry about holding up valuable contracting time and project schedule on these cleats. If you do need some help, your sales rep can talk you through how to make these. You don't need to match the dovetail. I would just make it a dado and dive it into that slot. But you can make a couple of these with some passes with a table saw pretty quickly or use that corner bracket uh, method I mentioned earlier. If you have any questions, give us a call, 888-211-6482. Thanks for watching.